Today on the Terrible Warriors, return to Gravity Falls and to the secrets of cats. There's a mystery involving a rat. There's a community of cats. It's set in Gravity Falls, so if that's a show you've seen, there's a lot of references, as as we do here on the show. This is what we do. We're just playing a game of cats. Derek Burrow from Edmonton and his cats that he is literally herding around for the month of February. They are your terrible warriors. Hey, terrible listeners, it's the Edmonton crew. We return with another Secret of Cats game. Because kitties, that's why. <laughs> and I'm joined with... Shane Fitzgerald. Sarah Prokofi. And we are returning to a little town called Gravity Falls. In this weird mystery of white rats. As our cats go out into the wider town, and it's it's a nice summer day in Oregon. The wind is blowing through the trees... People are going about their everyday lives. All the weird things in town are probably happening at the Mystery Shack right now in the background of another episode. (laughs) And you are tracking the scent of a large white rat. So that's probably going to be an investigation check, actually, for you, Shane. Okay. Get it, Shane. Uh, Oh, get it! Get it! (laughs) investigation Ooh. oh god Ooh. you, you did get it that uh, was do you want to spend can you find an aspect that you could use to spend a fate point Ooh. or uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking you know what it's I've... a bit of a stretch but I'm kind of thinking naively friendly I might have sniffed them while I was on top of them <laughs> your hmm. hair smells good <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'll give that to you sure okay. throw in a fate chip and give a reroll. Nice. That's that's exactly the same. Well, um, let's see here. Oh God! Dude. Come on! Wow! In the first roll of the game, we ran into the scenario of why the gumshoe system exists. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sarah, by the way, a game has passed. Your uh, winded condition is gone, and oh, your wound track is back. Um, I will let you invoke another aspect. I will let you invoke an environmental aspect in that it is pleasantly windy out. Okay. So your, the scent blow might blow to you from upwind okay, if so you I want to invoke that. Fate. I got yep. Okay, I'll do it. All right. Or else the game just grinds to a screeching No, halt. no, other things will happen, but... <laughs> yeah. Two, that's that's better. a Two little bit better. Yes. Perfect. So that's what, a four? Yes, that's a four. Phenomenal. Yeah, the wind brings that scent right to your nose, and, you know, you, you got a good, you got a good uh, plan of how to find that rat. Okay, I've got his scent, so we can find we can track him wherever he goes. Yeah, let's follow him. Okay, so you uh, you follow him. He's actually running right through town, so you have to go. You know, you wait, you run a little bit through traffic, sneak here and there, and you follow him out into the forest. Let's see here, and he goes a ways into the forest. Like he goes pretty deep. What was your, uh, what did your, oh, you took, uh, sorry, Shane, what stunts did you take? Uh, just my regular stunts? Yeah, your regular yeah. stunts. Uh, I took totally lovable, literate, and wear a lot of light. <laughs> yes, right, okay, yes, you didn't take the past life one, okay. Ah. Um, I could have taken the past life one, damn. No. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> yep. And he starts <coughs> retreating into the woods, and you follow him, follow the scent, and eventually um, you come up to an old ruined church in the woods. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. And you've heard, uh, you actually know about this place before. Um, this leads into a deeper part of the town. There are bats living in the church, and generally they won't let anything pass through. But you see the rat just scurries on through and the bats completely ignore it. Whoa. Hmm. What kind of rat is this? I, I don't, don't know. He's... Here's, 
He's He's definitely not the usual kind of rat. I mean, he's a lot bigger. And if the bats aren't messing with him, then that either means there might be more, or he might be tougher than we thought. Yeah, he's got, like, definitely kind of a sinister aspect to him, for sure. Yeah. Because if, like, the bats that mess with everyone won't mess with him, that's, uh, like, something to give pause. Can we look around? Can we look around the the church and just kind of like see if any everything's like mm, what passes for normal around there? Sure. You want to give me a notice like, check then? Yeah. I'm also going to note though that you are spoiling for a fight, and you did track this rat yeah. here. <laughs> like. By the way, out of game. Did you mean give pause as a pun? Sorry. Did you mean give pause as a pun? <laughs> just say yes. yes. Just say <laughs> yes. <laughs> It'll it's help you integrate reason. into the crew more if you just if I just pun, embrace pun the like puns. Crazy? Now. Yeah, okay. This I is can. coming from the man who did invent the phrase "padre." Yes, I did. Excellent. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. You're right. I am spoiling for a fight. Maybe. Fun fact: I actually told the padre at at my unit that joke, and he liked it. Of course, he did. <laughs> um. Now, I'm actually yeah. going to offer you a compel on this one. <laughs> okay, okay. Because you're spoiling her for a fight, um, and you're in this situation where you're following it, you know where it went, yeah, it yeah. makes sense that you decide to just go in. Okay, let's yeah. get it. Get it! <laughs> Have a fate chip. Okay. And you, as you go in, you enter this ruined church. Uh, the front of it's completely broken down. Part of the roof's fallen in. There's a big hole in the floor. Uh, moss is growing all over the place. And there are just bats lined up along the rafters in the shadows. And as you uh, come in, you hear a fluttering sound. And this huge brown bat drops down um, on a slightly higher point above you. Just out of pouncing range. And he looks at you. Cats. Cats are not welcome here. But I'm I'm chasing a rat. Nobody likes rats. (laughs) I feel like we can have common cause here. That's what you think. I'm a bat. And what is it all you cats say that we're rats with wings? I don't think you meant for that to sound like hissing, but <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah, uh, it was a you caught me kind of. Okay, sigh. I feel I feel like Shade should step in here. Look, we're not looking for any trouble. Good, oh. I'm not looking for trouble either. Okay, the rat we're looking for was messing with our territory, which is something that we know matters to you guys. Continue. All right. Which is why it's odd that you just kind of let him pass. Is this not my territory? Yeah, but you don't let anybody in your territory. Hmm. So is there something you know about this rat that we don't? Perhaps there is, perhaps there isn't. What does it matter to you cats? Like I said, this cat was messing with our territory. (laughs) Listen, this rat was like, he was all up on our kitchen counter, like rifling through our stuff. He, he had his, he has filthy little paws on our spork. Anyone, (laughs) anyone, bat, rat, cat can appreciate the value and like the, the personal value of your spork. I don't know what a spork is. That sounds like something that humans have. We bats live an austere life here of quiet contemplation. I just kind of lean towards the I lean towards the bat and just go, "She really respects sporks. They look like they have claws." <laughs> I'm not really a spoon person. I got to say, <laughs> you know? they don't have a, they don't have an edge to them at all. Can't respect that. <laughs> wow. we've, we've, we've entered into Little Mermaid uh, <laughs> levels of ethnography here. Oh, oh boy. 
Well, be that as it may, I am not interested in cats passing through today. Well, guess you're gonna have to pay the ultimate price for it. Are you threatening me here in my home? Yeah, 100%. Uh, goody. I feel like I should... I've only got the one fate point left. I feel like I should invoke one of my stunts here. Because I've got totally lovable and wear a lot of like. That could... Well, I'm actually going to offer you a compel here, Shane. And this is going to be interesting because you, your two troubles are kind of the opposite of each other. Is that you yeah. are naively friendly and he is... He's being very polite to you in this situation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, And I'm actually... We gonna... have the good cop, bad cop thing going Yeah, here. but unfortunately it's more like good cop... It's more like bad cop, sucker cop. <laughs> Great. Because you do have that naive aspect. Yeah. To you that it feels like he has, like the bat has a good point. I'm going to give you a fate point for that. Okay. Cool. So you've got, you two are at odds on this one now. You've got Deadeye here who is just spoiling to go in there. He wants to kick him. Deadeye's a him, yes? Or a her? Yeah, I had Deadeye as a him, but like maybe let's let's change Deadeye to a to a female cat because like there's nothing wrong with female cats being scrappy, am I right? No, not at all. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> they tend to be scrappier than the males. It fits. It let's fits in with the whole. I don't even know if we recorded this. It fits in with the whole dynamic that we kind of figured out while we were making the characters that mm. Deadeye is kind of like Diaz and. <laughs> that guy is like Rosa Diaz from Brooklyn Nine Nine, yes. and uh, Shade is kind of like Charles Boyle. Yes, good at his job, but really kind of mousy and a little bit dumb. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All Which right, is an ironic term to use for a cat, but whatever. <laughs> so now, what are you two gonna do? You've got this, this bat's telling you off, and Shade over here is going, you know, the bat's got a point. <laughs> yeah, well, look, I know. You want to get after this rat? I do too. He's messing with our with our stuff, and he's messing with our with our master. But there's more to consider here, and motions upward to I am assuming a ceiling full of bats. Yeah, there's like a dozen bats. Yeah. I don't know. I just I just kind of want to go out claws out, you know. I know, but let's consider why we're out here in the first place. So, basically, I'm just going to look to the bat and I'm just going to go, look, like I said, we don't want trouble from you. Can you at least tell us where the rat went? Somewhere oh, underground, I'm sure. You know how rats are. Yeah. He's not telling us everything he knows. No, like, he's that's, not. That's real clear. So, if I remember correctly, when you were giving us these stunts, uh, the totally lovable thing just means that I can compel him not to lie to us. Um, no, it's that you know when you are being lied to. Hmm. Because you are, well, you're just so totally lovable. I mean, you, <laughs> let's face it, you're adorable. <laughs> Words yeah, that we never thought we'd shit say about one of Shane's characters. For the record, <laughs> for the record, the species of cat I went with, or the breed of cat rather, was a Maine Coon. And if you've ever <laughs> seen a picture of a Maine Coon on Google, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that all that fuzz. Uh, you were all reporting like of Hercules empathy. Of snoof, you know. Well, do you want to see if he's lying? Mm, well, that's the thing. I don't think he's not really lying. He's being too vague to lie. This is also very true. Yeah. So. I've also got we're a lot alike. How does that work? We are a lot alike. It's uh, when you're putting your foe off balance. Um, you can take one of his aspects and he gains one of your aspects and you can invoke one of them against him. Hmm. Hmm. Now I wonder how that... I wonder if that would actually help us. Yeah, like I get the sense that what we need is some leverage, but... Yeah. The other option is, I mean, there are other... You might have other avenues for investigation. There might be other ways to go underground. You could talk to the Parliament of Cats, 
who is sort of your local organization of, for lack of a better term, of cats. Mm. <laughs> you do have eld- cat elders, essentially, that you can go to if necessary. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if the, there's any precedent for this. Like, I wonder if anyone's ever seen anything like this before. A big rat, the bats being, uh, they're being definitely, cool about it. Yeah, there's definitely more going on here than we know for ourselves. So yeah, yeah. Might be a good idea to just back off and see if the Parliament knows anything about this. As much as it pains me to do so. I know, I know. Yeah. You're, you're kind of given the, the bat eyes, like, this isn't over. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I'm, I'm like backing away out of there, like taking like two of my two of my claws and just like <laughs> to my eyes and then to him. Yes, yeah, but but you've got that full erect body posture. Yeah. Your tail is like straight up. Yeah, I'm not actually walking. I'm just like hopping on all four feet towards the door. Yeah. All right. That's what's happening. Yep. So you that kind of that kind of. Creates more of a Pepe Le Pew image in my head, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Pepe Le Pew is not exactly intimidating. It's well, not what I was certainly going not for in the all. certainly not in the way you were going for. <laughs> I'm sure there are many French female cats that would feel him very intimidating. <laughs> so you go to find the Parliament, and the Parliament is led by three cats. Uh, you know them as White Whiskers, Nibs. And a cat who proudly goes by his, uh, what his human calls him, Mr. Catface. <laughs> Better known as Donald and Sa- Donald Sandy and Mr. Catface. Um, <laughs> who spend a lot of their time hanging outside of their human's place of labor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, which you just call the food log. Because it's a big log and the humans have food in it. Yeah. The humans would know it as Greasy's Diner. <laughs> nice. Um, and they're just sort of hanging out out back and they're talking about cat things they are well known um they are gnome hunters oh man <laughs> they are disliked by many of the small woodland creatures of the area mm-hmm. um which is part of how they came to lead the parliament but at the same time they're getting on in years okay, okay. and they look up as you uh, as you approach Oh, they're young cats. I imagine as we're approaching, they're just look, they're just talking to each other, and it's like, okay, this time you two hold down Schmeppelock, and I'll work his kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes Schmeppelock. <laughs> Schmeppelock. I didn't mean to turn them into the feline version of the Good Feathers. It just kind of happened. <laughs> <laughs> Only Good Feathers may sit on Scorsese's head. <laughs> Animaniacs, good feathers, yeah? Yes. Yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're young cats. Uh, how are you How are you today? Mm, we're well. I ate part of a fish. <laughs> it's Mr. Catface. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Those pats. Yes, you did, Mr. Catface. <clears throat> hey. We have a bit of a problem. We encountered uh, an unusual rat in our in our master's... An unusual rat? A rat so unusual that the bats let it pass into the church. Hmm. What do you think of this, White Whiskers? Well, Mr. Nibs, they've been... You're not the first people to tell us about large rats. Hmm. A number of the cats in town have seen them stealing... Sporks? Yes, and spoons, and bits of string, and tinfoil. Shiny objects. The rats want shiny objects. It's very strange behavior for rats. Right, you are, White Whiskers. That's a strange sort of thing for cats to do. I know, Mr. Nibs. And they're just sort of talking. It's more just them talking at each other. I like shiny things, too. (laughs) Yes, thank you, Mr. Catface. Just to backtrack a little bit, shiny string. Shiny string. Okay. uh, So the expensive part of fabric fill. Gotcha. (laughs) They probably mean wires. Uh, (laughs) Fair enough. Yeah, because we don't have the same words. Mm. Mm. Yes. Because you're cats. Yeah, cats. I kind of have a feeling where this might be going, but it will be metagaming for me to say. So. (laughs) Oh man, I have no idea. I'm just so invested in this narrative. Yeah, (laughs) it is good. Hmm. Well, we'll call the parliament. 
We can find out what all the cats know. Okay, Good. yeah, that sounds great. This evening, under the full moon. Naturally. Yep, of course. So you go back to the newspaper offices, and there's... Toby has not noticed that you were gone. Of course. As it is. But he's very pr- happy that his well, kitties have returned. His work is very engrossing, oddly shaped vegetables and all. There are so many oddly shaped <laughs> vegetables in Gravity Falls to talk about! <laughs> And then he's sounding a bit more like Jimmy Stewart. <laughs> that was an advert. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you old savings and loan. And midnight approaches. And the cats are victorious and Clancy got Clarence got his wings. <laughs> take it all back, Clarence. I, ta- I take it all back. I, I shouldn't have given the cats fire or opposable thumbs. The rats were in Bob's house and, and, and Phil's house. <laughs> <laughs> Susu's Side- kibble! I found Susu's kibble! Side note, by complete coincidence, I actually was just watching a bit of Carol Burnett on YouTube yesterday. <laughs> for when she was on Late Night with Stephen Colbert and Kevin Spacey did his Jimmy Stewart impression for her. <laughs> that was beautiful. So, the meeting place at night. It's late. And you wait for the teenagers to go home. Mm-hmm, of course. Mm-hmm. They're not really doing anything. They're standing around talking about how depressed and lonely they are. Writing some poetry. Writing some bad poetry. How they're all alone despite the fact that they're like eight of them. Yeah. And they... There's always that one guy who keeps talking about his stupid band. Yep. His band's gonna make it big. They just have to decide on a name first. That's what they spend most of their time doing. And they gotta get some instruments and write some songs and then they're gonna make it big. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right now they right now they just kind of bang on uh, Tupperware and uh, put it up on uh, MySpace. Yeah. Oh, I just dated myself. <laughs> oh man, I was gonna go Band with Live camp. Journal. It's Gravity. Camp. It's Gravity Falls. Of course, they would still use MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> the only town in America that still uses MySpace. <laughs> they just co-opted the entire. Uh, they just got the entire, entire MySpace yeah. server. Yeah. Moved into town. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's probably where Stan got the toxic waste to power the portal. <laughs> Pure still by space. Wow. We're taking some shots today. Yeah. This is sa- savage AF. <laughs> <laughs> the meeting place. The meeting place. Yeah. And all yeah. the okay, all on. the cats in town are gathered there. And I've written something up about all the cats in town. Oh great. There are the art cats. This is kind of so. This is what you should expect from my cat named Shade. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It looked like you were about to high five that you didn't risk just kind of limped out there. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it was like a what? What is this gonna be? I don't know. Is, I don't what know. Is this gonna be? It's somewhere between so a high stupid. five and a really stilted gang sign. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was going for. Yeah. <laughs> now. Uh, there's a bunch of strays. They're called. It the- could have been worse. I could have named. I could have made him a red tabby named Straight Fire. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I should have gotten a squirt bottle. Uh-huh. Off topic, squirt, squirt. Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the- Damn it! There are a bunch of random strays that they call the Art Cats because the weird rainbow girl who showed up earlier this summer tried to draw on them at one point. Mm-hmm. Oh god. If you look look it up online, Mabel's Guide to Art. Oh yeah, human caricatures. Excellent. Um, and some of them still have crude drawings of human faces on their bellies. <laughs> they are a subject of mockery, but they form together in what might be considered <laughs> like a um, almost a survivor circle. Yeah. Oh boy. Um, there are the Cat Ladies Army. There's like eight of them. <laughs> They're all set to in, uh, to actually inherit a human estate upon her death. Oh my god! <laughs> they are essentially the creme de la creme of cat society. Okay. They own actual human property, <laughs> <laughs> which, as far as they're concerned, makes them as unto gods. Oh boy! <clears throat> There's also this weird cat who showed up a couple weeks ago. He's this enormous Maine Coon, like scruffy fur all over the place, covered in grease. He insists that his name is Mutork. <laughs> and he just sort of showed up in Old Man McGucket's junkyard one day. I knew it. I knew it. That's where you were going. And 
he's weird by cat standards. Nobody really talks to him. He doesn't really <laughs> talk to anyone else, but he kind of shows up every once in a while. Shade made the mis- Shade talked to him once. I have a bit of dialogue here. Where oh is it? Here <clears throat> uh, oh, where did I write it? Oh, wait, it's in the adventure section. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's something about... A goat ain't Mutorx thing on Bobbit, and he can't make the zippy whiz bang lightning machine to escape this town. Why am Mutorx in this town? Oh, man. <laughs> that cat has issues. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so the parliament sits. That started with uh, Furry Road, didn't it? Yes. Yeah, a uh, reference for Sarah and for the listeners who may not be caught up. To understand Mutorx, uh, Furry Road, Mutants in Orbit... And one really weird cameo in The it, Strange. The, the cameo got cut. Oh, it did? It got, it got cut due to how the episodes were coming out. Ah, okay. Um, but as listeners will know, Mutor got shot off into the multiverse at the end of Mutants in Orbit. <laughs> <laughs> um, through a and pr- we happen to have a game that's happening in the multiverse. Excellent. It's entirely possible that all of our games just happen off in The Strange, and that The Strange PCs are the only true people that exist within the Terrible Warriors universe. Oh, God. God. <laughs> um, you are just tearing apart history is what you're doing <laughs> hey, Justin brought that one up oh, <laughs> the parliament meets Nibs and white something or other because Derek forgets things a minute after he says them white whiskers and Mr. Catface are perched up on a bench on a, like a park bench to give them a bit of extra height and all the cats are just kind of sitting around on the uh, on the grass, on the pavement. So a couple of them have caught small animals of various sorts and are largely just sort of to- toying with them. There's a little circle that are batting a cricket back and forth between them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, yes, excellent. Thank you, cats of Gravity Falls. We must have a we must have some order now so that we may discuss the recent happenings. You have all brought to our attention the problem of the white rats. A white rat um, stole Mutorx thingamabobby! Yes, yes, we're aware. (laughs) White rats are trying to steal our property from us! They're trying to take our jobs! We don't have jobs. They're trying to take our non-existent jobs! (laughs) A white rat tried to take the picture off my belly! Without the picture, I don't know who I am anymore! (laughs) Essentially, it's your standard Gravity Falls mob of humans, except now they're cats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the Gravity Falls Lost episode. (laughs) (laughs) Well then, I understand that two of our younger cats managed to track them down. Shade, Deadeye. Yes, we did. We managed to track them as far as the church. Before the bats would let us go no further. The house of the bats? How strange. Nothing passes through the house of the bats. That's exactly the point. The bats normally attack anything that enters their house, but they left this rat alone. Hmm, how strange. I didn't see them go into the bat house! Oh, shut up, Larry. No, 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 no. We saw them go into the forest. A a different way from the bat house. Towards the weird house. We do not go near the weird house. Well, the rats went by there. That's troubling. The weird house is the mystery shack. Yeah, I yeah. was just—I oh, yeah. was about to say because I have literate, which means I can actually read human writing. It's one hundred percent called the mystery raise, shack. I was about to raise a paw. <laughs> Do you mean that place called the mystery hack? <laughs> the domain of the pig named Waddles. Mm. Ah, yes, Waddles. Is there some route by which they can get from the church to the to the weird house and vice versa? No, they are on different parts of the town. Huh. Mayhaps they have a different way of getting into their secret hideaway. Hmm. Young cats, I will task you with a mission. On behalf of this parliament, you are to go out and you are to find where these rats are lying. And you are to put an end to this menace. Understood. Yeah, I got a grudge to settle with them. Let's do it. 
Yeah! Yeah, you go! Rough him up! Shut up, Buzz. <laughs> 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 just shut up! Just, just, and I just point to Buzz. Just like, shut up! Aww. I'm not going to lie. I'm very, very tempted to ask you, Turk, to come with us. That would be too self-insertion. <laughs> Doesn't even have stats. Oh, come on! How can you not stat it? I was pressed for time. Oh. Okay, let's get it. Get it! Let's get it! <laughs> in, the, in the words of our mayor, <laughs> get it! <laughs> oh, boy. Well, you uh, make your way off. Now, are you going to wait until morning, or are you going to go off while it's still dark out? I feel like night gives us the advantage. Like we're cats after all. Oh yeah. I mean they're rats, but they're white. I don't know. I feel like I feel like, you know, the full moon gives us uh gives us a, cer- a certain something, you know. You're not wrong. Plus I have I have shadow form which oh, yeah. among other things lets me see in the dark better. And I've got some stealth going on. So like Yeah. Oh ho, oh, you dwarf can't have thing. It will make you see in dark. No way did him not fit on kitty heads. Never mind. <laughs> Are you sure we can't bring him with us? I'm sure. Damn it. All the cats have opinions on this matter. I think we should tame some eagles. Yeah, shut up, Larry. <laughs> just writing Larry down. Larry is apparently walk- <laughs> this game's bitch. <laughs> I just walk over to Larry, kind of pat him on the head. She's had a day. She's had a day. Just don't take it personal. They stole my food dish. Aww. I'm hungry. They stole They stole your food dish? They stole my shiny food dish. I would assume among crats that's a that's a heinous, unforgivable crime. We gotta I bet some rat somewhere is using it as a crown. That's not right. That's my food <laughs> dish. I eat my food out of that. If he's lucky. Oh yeah. Ew. Ooh. I'm so hungry. Black Paw won't let me eat out of his food dish. It's my food dish! (laughs) None eat out of my food dish! I have the finest food dish in the house! I realize right now I'm doing a Hiram McDaniels thing. Yeah! (laughs) I'm like, how much of this did you script and how much is off the top of your funny, funny brain? 90% off the top of my head. Oh, good. (laughs) I was worried we were getting into Tom White territory where he's got no. We are not. We are not. Where he's got six pages of NPC conversation. Nothing. President Obama monologue. Oh God! God. Yes. About about a mission of paramount preponderancy, which for some reason involved, which for some reason involved a Washington D.C. football slash baseball team. The Washington Tacklers. They're the only. uh, (laughs) They're the only team to win both the Super Bowl and the World Series. (laughs) All thanks to a young crippled boy. He no no a young uh, was it? uh, There's like uh, a chronically ill boy named Billy something or other. Oh man! Oh man! (laughs) Billy Fleesmore. Just the just like the tiny Tim of that narrative, huh? Yeah, he helped them win the World Series and the Super Bowl in the same year. Yep. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. It, this be uh, out of Tackle Box Stadium. <laughs> which was also a decoy. Oh my god. Would this be a bad time to mention he joked about your Taekwondo? Oops, I mentioned it anyway. No, I joked about it in terms of telling Tom that he was not no longer the most badass terrible warrior. <laughs> <laughs> What's Tom's deal? Uh Tom studied uh, I think kung fu, karate, a little bit of oh, Okay, uh, cool, cool, cool. We once got into a street fight with some weird mar- Russian martial artists at Eaton Center in Toronto. Oh. As a joke. Oh, it a joke. W- no, well, it was sort of a joke. They're, they're, the guy teaching them was really weird. He was just, he was like Emperor Palpatine sitting up on a trash can, wearing like, I, like I swear to God, I just call it stereotypical Russian criminal coat, okay. where it's got like the fake fur fringes around it, and oh it's long, God. and he's just like, good, good, do it, do it. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that was the thing that happened. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Tom and I had adventures. Yeah, no kidding. Wow. You got some real backstory together. Yeah. Okay. In any case. We're, we're slightly off topic now. Yeah. We're so off topic. <laughs> squirts bottle it own head. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's do this thing. Let's, okay. Let's these rats. So where should we start looking? Probably um, want to avoid the House of Bats. Yeah, House of Bats. I mean, our next lead was the weird house, I suppose. 
The Weird Shack? The Mystery House? Well, he no. calls it the Mystery uh, Hack. Yeah, because the, the S is falling and off. And everybody knows it is the Weird House because weird things happen there. Yeah. yeah. Also, its owner doesn't like cats. Okay. Do you Young think doesn't... Grunkle Stan would like Hell cats? No. But no. Then, so I was just going to say, Grunkle night. Stan don't like anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's a surly bastard. Well, for good reason, but. Yeah. Okay, then. So you head off. Just basically down the road through the woods. There's this well worn dirt road that leads <coughs> up to it, kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Even by Gravity Falls standards. Yeah. And there are weird sounds out in the woods, but you're cats. You got a bit of swagger. You stay on the path, and nothing really bothers you. Okay. In part because you're cats. Yeah. Right. And you finally approach uh, the mystery shack. And it's the middle of the night, so the lights aren't on. But it's this ramshackle hut, almost, in the middle of the woods. Uh, The S has fallen off the sign, which really only Shane notices. Yeah. Uh, There's an RV parked out back. And there's a goat just chewing on a tin can nearby. Because there is always a goat. The goat's name is Nomers, apparently. <laughs> it's according to the wiki. <laughs> I seem to remember. I seem to remember a Reddit "Ask Me Anything" where Bill Cipher said it was a better form for him. <laughs> oh God, that's yeah, the goat. <laughs> so, what do you want to do now that you're here? Do you want to try and get inside? Do you want to patrol around? Uh, we'll sniff around for any familiar sense that might be the rat. Okay, uh, Shane, if you want to give me an investigation check. Okay. Uh, Sarah, you can just give me a straight up roll. Okay. Oh, damn it. Uh, she got one. a one, Shane. Yeah. Sarah also got a one. You start sniffing around. Yeah, there, there might be some faint rat traces, but you're smelling a lot of pig. Mm. Of course. And goat. Of course. <laughs> and the musk of several very large humans. <laughs> you smell burritos, grease, <laughs> a lot of grease, some stink that might be cologne by someone's standards. Yeah. <laughs> um, That's just it, it's yeah. It's kind yeah. of around the place. You 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 might have to go inside, or you might have to check like the vicinity as well. Okay. What do you want to do? Do you want to keep checking outside or do you want to go inside? Let's go inside. Let's do it. Let's rip off that band-aid. Yeah. Okay. How it's you get a little in. bit meta, but God, the audience will, the listeners will kill us if we don't go into the mystery chair. <laughs> <laughs> just never We spent the Gravity Falls. Yeah, we just ignore all the characters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The only named character to ever put in an appearance is suddenly Toby Determined. <laughs> <laughs> Toby Determined finally is getting his own show. <laughs> it's Toby's time to shine. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. How are you getting in? Now, Shane, to be fair, could just turn into a shadow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then go under the door. But then how would you let Deadeye in? Hmm. Uh, well, I have notice. I could use notice to see if there's, like, any open windows or any... Any spaces we can crawl in through? Okay. Um, do you want to try and get inside first? or And then go from there? Or do you want to see if you, there's something you can find from the outside? Mm. I'll go inside. Okay. Get it. All right. Uh, get it! <laughs> let me see if uh, you need to spend... Okay. I just need to check if you need to spend a fate point or make a roll to activate this. All right. Hmm. Yep, make a uh, shaping roll. Okay. Oh, two pluses. So that's a six? That is a six. You only needed a two. Cool. (laughs) So you watch as Shade whispers his true name backwards. And (laughs) I want you to figure out how to say your true name backwards right now, Shane. Repeat-a-tag. 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 <laughs> and 
he folds over onto himself backwards into Ooh. this two-dimensional shadow that slinks and just slips under the front door. Yeah, yeah. And you are inside the gift shop. And the shadows slant weirdly as you can you see in total darkness here. So you get that kind of black and white perfect. It's like dark vision and dishonored. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> A and reference I'll... point that the cat can definitely appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me a roll uh, for your notice. Okay. Uh, break even, so one. Okay. Um, you can see the vents, the air vents, maybe. Okay. If you could get into them, you might be able to push out uh, one of the vents on the outside that uh, might give Deadeye a chance to get in. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so you jump up to the vents. Give me a quick athletics check. All right. Oh, uh, just actually, no, because you're a shadow, so you just slip up into them. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. You go through the vents, and you actually hear in the vents, here, skitter, 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 shiny, 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 shiny. Oh, damn it. Shiny, shiny, <sighs> gotta get shiny. And you hear multiple voices, you think, but they're weird echoes through the vents. Oh, oh great. Man. Okay, well, I'm Then not- you hear another voice. And it's not any of the humans from the shack. Oh, boy. You think you might have actually heard this voice, strangely enough, while Toby Sherman was watching TV one night. Oh, no. What are you doing? No! No, 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 no! No, don't do that! No, this is not the thing to do to Larry King's head. Larry King's head does not like this! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> this the, goes deep. It's the animated wax head of Larry King. It apparently lives in their vents. <laughs> oh, God! Oh, my God. Okay. Wow. According to the wiki? Yeah. Oh no, God. according to the show, oh, uh, Larry King's animated wax head lives in the vents after they destroy his body. Okay. All it's right. a very complex show. Yeah, it's a funny. very <laughs> weird show. Yeah, okay. Actually, Derek, for the record, there was a there was a moment where I thought our owner should have been the guy from uh, the... From Dipper's Guide to the Unexplained, the guy who's always looking to the left. Lefty? Yeah, Lefty. <laughs> Except that Lefty isn't actually a person. Yeah. <laughs> lefty is many small creatures operating a machine that's only shaped like the left side of a person. Oh my god, amazing. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> uh, inexplicably, his foot can rise and he still maintains his center of gravity. Huh. <laughs> All right then. So, and then you hear a banging as if something were knocked over and rolling. Okay. And then you want to go find a way to... You find an exterior vent. Yep. At that point, you will have to maintain... You have to return to your physical aspect to be able to interact with the world. Okay. So you pull yourself up from your shadow. And a vent at almost ground level, you can jump into it. Pushes open. Sweet. And there's shade. Sweet. I'm in it. I go into the vent. Okay. You do a little uh, cat leap. You get up in there. Oh, yeah. I heard rats. They're in the vents with us. Oh, man. Close quarters combat. I'm ready. And messing with somebody named Larry King. Oh, man. I don't understand it either. I've never seen a human small enough to fit in these things. Yeah, like, my my whole world is just, like... <laughs> just blowing up here. All right, well, I mean, we know the rats are here. We know we want to fight the rats. We want to kill the rats. We want to get the rats. Let's just do it. Simple. Okay. I agree with this plan. Let's get the rats. Both of you give me uh, notice checks to see if you can uh, figure out where the sound is coming from as it echoes through the vents. Ah. Mm. That's right. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I got two. Okay, you got a two. Sarah, you got <coughs> a one. Nothing. I got nothing. Good. You got zero. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So Shade is able to kind of listen out and detect where the sounds are coming from. And you creep through the vents slowly. And the sounds, they definitely start um, coalescing a bit more. Shiny. No, I get that shiny. No, no, you get that shiny. That shiny. Not this shiny. My shiny. Your shiny. That, take, that shiny. Take your shiny. And they're, they're, they're literally just arguing constantly over, <laughs> take this shiny, take that shiny. And you look out of a vent that's, actually, that's also been popped out. And they're in, 
it's basically just a back room where Stan keeps boxes of crap that he hasn't put out in the gift shop yet. Oh, boy. <laughs> <clears throat> and they're batting around. They've knocked over a box of ludicrously cheap, uh, just like novelty Bigfoot necklaces. Oh, great. <laughs> where it just has a giant footprint. Oh, yeah. boy. And one of them has managed to get its tail completely wrapped up in one of them. And another one is chasing it around, and it's like, no, no, that's my shiny, not your shiny. You take that shiny. Take that shiny. But I want that shiny. No, no, not my, not your shiny, my shiny. <laughs> okay, oh, so man. we can see the rats now. Yes. And oh, yeah. lying um, farther down the vent, there's a weird object. It looks about the size of a human head, maybe. <laughs> but you can't quite see it because it's in darkness at the far back there. And you just hear a murmuring, and it sounds something like, now what will become in, of Larry King's head after he's been pushed over by rats? <laughs> Find out at 11. <laughs> oh, I wish I could see a clock. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Real wow. Real problems. Yeah. All right. Uh, now I kind of want to recruit Larry King's head. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it. 100%. That's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, you can ignore the rats and go down to the yep. to the to the wax head of Larry King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, how would that work? He wouldn't understand us. He might. I mean, he is a magical wax head. You could write. Can I write with literary? Can I write in human? Could be. That is a game changer. That would be a lore check, I think. <laughs> I mean, your your penmanship is going to be horrendous, <laughs> but with the fact that you don't have opposable thumbs, or in fact any kind of hand, but just a paw. It's up to you. You're the one with this... the skills to make it happen. So if you want to recruit Larry King, let's do it. L no, Larry him. King's head. Very Larry importantly, head. it's not Larry yes. King. It's just Larry King's head. You want to recruit Larry King's head? Let's do it. Oh if you want to move on, then I'm, I'm ready to... I think we may have encountered one of the most ridiculous phrases in Terrible Warriors. If you want to recruit Larry King's head, yeah. I'm all for it. Yeah. It would easily be the strangest possible cameo in all of Gravity Falls. At least within the confines of this game. <laughs> yes. I don't think we had. I don't think either of us had the literal or figurative balls to recruit Bill Cipher. Hmm. How would you hmm. even do that? Not well. <laughs> <laughs> well, what you gonna do? This is the closest we're gonna get to having a head that's always screaming. <laughs> okay, I got a Derek face palm. Let's move on. Get. Uh, Pray continue. I was just joking about recruiting Larry King's head, but now I'm kind of... Now I'm considering it. Although by this point, I imagine you're just like... There, there are rats I'm down there. I'm to go. There like, are I am rats down, down go. there. Yeah. All right, let's and just they, get the rats. Don't let's know just, that you're there. Let's, let's just her. get the rats. I feel like we would horribly hijack the plot if we... If we tried to recruit I'm just Larry trying to figure King's out how you even it recruited. It can't I, move on its own. I mean, there are so many problems with this logic. Let's just kill some rats. Get more support. <laughs> okay, let's kill the rats. Let's kill the rats. Larry King's head can hear strange noises behind him, but he can't turn around. <laughs> this is just like spending an afternoon with Ted Koppel. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. So the rats have finally, in the time that you've been talking about whether or not you're going to assist the head of Larry King, um, this is never a situation I ever expected I would use in a game. Wow, that's an odd sentence. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the rats have managed there are to... Gonna be so, there are going to be so many... There must be so many instances in this game alone where you're just saying stuff and your brain is just instantly going, That's a sentence I just said! I'm slowly beginning to understand what the inside of Alex Hirsch's head looks like, and it's an <laughs> odd place. Yes. <laughs> we love you, Mr. Hirsch. Yes. It was an amazing show. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the we're, rats in the meantime... We're sad it ended, but it's probably for the best that it It is ended. for the best. It ended where it should have ended. Uh, the rats have managed to disentangle the Bigfoot necklaces and are basically gathering as many up as they can in the little rat paws... Um, and trying to figure out how to shove them in each other's mouths so that they can run away with them. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, <coughs> no, this... Okay. Uh, do we see the rat that we encountered? No. No. 
No, different rats. Different rats. Different okay. rats. Same sort of deal though. They're bi- they're huge rats. Albino, uh, little little tiny, almost vestigial squinty eyes. Hmm. And it's almost possible that they're picking up shiny objects because they're the only things that they can see. Like, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm having thoughts, but they're metagaming thoughts, so. Like, well, make a decision because like... the rat... Well, you two were dithering up in the vents. The rats are, get it, are getting ready to get away. Let's attack from above. Let's a- Yeah, let's pounce. Yeah. Okay. Well... You're going to pounce. Did you take, uh, Sarah, one of the things about uh, Death from Above, or was that... No, I don't have any Death from Above things. Oh, no, you took the size advantage of Scrappy, so you're good against smaller and bigger creatures. Yeah. Okay, right, and you can steal stuff and... Yeah, yeah. And you are mysterious. I am. Okay, well, make your fighting checks. Ooh... Oh, shit. You both roll pretty good there. Yeah. Oh, the first rat is going to spend his uh, big. <laughs> Actually, he might even invoke a different one. Because he has, like, he has a weird, it might be three aspects. It might only be one aspect. Nearly blind, big and strong. Okay, so he's going to re-roll that. Cocked. Okay, so that's a four. And the other one gets a five. Okay, so Sarah also gets a five. Yep. Shane, you get a also a five. Yep. Fives for everyone. <laughs> Everybody ties. You get a five, and you get a five, and you get a five. <laughs> <laughs> so you pounce down on the rats, and you know you you are you doing like crazy cat howls as you're coming like. You know, Sarah, are you basically screaming, Death from above! Yeah, yeah, 100%. <laughs> That's what's happening. Okay, and Shane, are you uh, just kind of following suit? or Pretty much, yeah. Death from above, what she said! <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what uh, and you do. you land right where the rats were, but the rats managed to move out of the way. Ooh. Um, they're pretty big, and they, they manage to just kind of slightly deflect you with their bulks Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, as you come down so that you're on equal footing with them. They've both got mouths full of Bigfoot necklaces. Okay. (laughs) And we'll notice check for someone else. Okay. Larry Kingshead is hearing more excitement right now than he has in many years of (laughs) political commentary. (laughs) Unfortunately, Larry King can't see anything, which is just like spending the weekend with Ted Koppel. (laughs) I don't don't want to know what you think a weekend with Larry King and Ted Koppel is. I don't even know what Ted Koppel looks like. (laughs) I just think it's funny. That's the Man. joke. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay so you're you're joke. facing off against them. They're facing off against you. Okay. You know their their tails are whipping about behind them. Um. Well, he's getting out more of the fate points. Oh I'm God. just making okay. sure that I, I have equivalent fate points for these NPCs. Uh. Okay. So uh, I'm using my dark past thing. Yep. And I'm gonna say, and I'm gonna be like, you know, I, I wish that I didn't have to do this again. I've, 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 I've never, I've never done this, uh, or I, I, I feel as though doing this again will be like, I'll, I'll never be redeemed from that. And like, I want to try to uh, just shove the Bigfoot necklaces like further down their throats. And oh wow! Them. Oh, okay. So you guys didn't kind of get this thousand yard stare yeah, like, like PTSD stare like, in your eyes yeah uh, like like not again yeah like martial arts movie like oh I've yeah. never you I've only ever used this move once and it is yeah, yeah. and it killed ten men yeah yeah <laughs> oh. okay give me a roll or she's just and having you a, throw already oh, throw your fate chip in no I didn't cool Here we go. or she's just having a woodhouse style mental break <laughs> yeah or it's world war one diving into the Holy shit the- balls. <laughs> uh, wow. So she li- uh, Sarah literally rolled the best that she possibly could on this. She all rolled four pluses. All, four pluses. Uh, so you got a 10. Great. 
this is happening, folks. Um, so that rats out of the fight. Uh, there's actually no way on its wound track that it can even <laughs> if it even if it took a severe consequence at minus six. Um, it still wouldn't be able to avoid sufficient numbers of wounds to not be taken out of the fight. Oh man! Um, so yeah, Deadeye just gets this thousand yard stare, <laughs> rolls back her paw, and zaps it forward. And man, that got brutal in one hell of a hurry because that rat just falls over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's some like, Ricky O shit. Le- yeah. Legs up in the air. Oh my god! Kitty O right here. That's how I roll. Wait, have you seen Ricky O? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Finally, someone in the Everything crew who would see Ricky I, I would be amazed if she hadn't. Yeah, it's a, it was a, a drinking game at one oh, point man. for us. Whenever, whenever there's blood, you drink. It was terrible. I don't even Ricky drink, o. and that sounds amazing. <laughs> okay, so um, I think I'm actually going to end the episode right there. <laughs> 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 the rat rolls over, legs up in the air. And the other rat takes one look at the two of you. And you it tur- kind of turns its head as it's trying to actually get a good look at the two of you. Elvin, surrender! Elvin, surrender! And, and it, it, just, <laughs> it also rolls over on its back, throws its legs up in the air. I just sort of kicks them up and down going, Melvin, surrender. Sweet. And Larry King's head can't hear what's ha- can't see what's happening now, but something brutal has occurred. <laughs> this is Larry King's head. <laughs> <laughs> for the Terrible Warriors, I'm Derek the Bard from Chasing the Muse, and I've been your GM for this, an evening of the secrets of cats in Gravity Falls. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. <laughs> I'm joined with Shane Fitzgerald. Uh, Sarah Procopio or Riccio. Kittyo. <laughs> Kittyo. <laughs> yes. Um. Keep cats in Gravity Falls weird or something. Bye. <laughs> The Terrible Warriors has new episodes every Tuesday and every Thursday and return to us on Thursday for the continuation of The Secret of Cats. Every Thursday this month, we're just being cats. That's just what we do now. And if you come back to us on Tuesday, I'm running a game on Tuesdays. It was chosen by you. Or if you're our Patreon supporter, it was chosen by Patreon supporters. If you're not one of our Patreon supporters, I guess you didn't choose this but anyways i put a bunch of games up there to choose from and with 38 percent of the vote it was a close one you chose masks the latest game from magpie we're doing teen superheroes it's gonna get hormonal on the other tuesdays of this month it's the other game i'm running it's called mutants in orbit if you remember after the bomb or if you remember the furry road well, this is the continuation, uh, pretty much the finale to a thrilogy that is our Wasteland Post-Apocalyptic Mutant Animal game. This one is, it goes completely off the rails. There's no chance I can do a sequel after it. Just spoiler alert, no chance. But we're probably going to try it anyways. I'll put it up for a vote on Patreon. And I keep mentioning Patreon because we're getting you more involved this year in this site that is helping to pay for everything now. If you want to be named in a future campaign, if you want to play in a future campaign, if you just want to get me to send you a postcard in the mail, those and more are available to you at patreon.com slash terriblewarriors. It's helping to keep the lights on here. And without your support, there is no show. And uh, that's fine. You don't want to give us money, you don't have money, or you're giving money to other things and you're supporting Kickstarters and stuff, that's great. You can support this show by clicking subscribe, by leaving a review, by liking, sharing, telling your friends about this weird thing we're doing because this experiment just keeps getting bigger and it keeps getting bigger because of you. Today's Terrible Warriors have been Derek Burrow, Shane Fitzgerald, and Sarah Procopio. And until we meet again, thank you for listening to the Terrible Warriors. (laughs) 